October 7, 2012, hundreds of people gathered in support of animal rights out front of Marineland in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, on the park's final day of the season. I was there to document the day's events as a journalist to help tell a bigger story. I'm here today as part of a rally, as part of a protest in support of animal rights. What's going on here is a collective of people who are passionate about sharing a message of compassion and sensibility that we as a culture must shift our ideals and shift our priorities in terms of how we view our relationship between ourselves and our fellow species, our fellow other animals on this planet. So obviously it gets to the point where the law has to step in in order for uh, safety precautions, but the pot has been stirred, the message has been made, and the story will be told. This is a place where they abuse animals. I'm tired of people using animals for entertainment. They're not here for our entertainment. They have their own interests. People say we're breaking the law by storming. How do you think women got the right? How do you think slavery was abolished? People stood up and broke the laws because they're, they're stupid laws. This is my dad. <laughs> a red team and a green team and the green team stayed outside and dealt with the press and um, the police and, and getting the red team there. I was on team red and yes. uh, we went to the back of the property and we had to go through, it was, uh, it was frozen, it was really really cold that day but there was unthawed uh, uh, marsh underneath so my feet were pretty much soaked by the time we got to the dogs. 110 dogs chained outside. They have no interaction with each other. Their chains are short and uh, the barking and the, I mean it was, they were all lovely dogs. Surprisingly too, they're not all husky breeds. I would say maybe a quarter of them have those husky coats and the husky breeds. Most of them were like average dogs you'd see at a pound. And they're all starving for attention and they had these blue plastic barrels with a little bit of straw on the bottom but I didn't see any insulation in any of these, even the wooden boxes. And they had a can that was um, nailed to the outside. I guess that's for their water. I didn't see any water. They must get water from time to time. Um, yeah, they couldn't, they didn't even have any snow because this radius, you see, was all pounded down with their own urine and feces and, and running around. And um, so there were 110 of them. We, we fanned out and took uh, video footage of it. And by this time, the people came out, one of the mushers came out and uh, attacked Jenny McQueen. Okay. And she had a chain around her neck and was, and Jenny was going red and then purple. And I was filming it with my camera, but I couldn't see Jenny's face and my camera until somebody said, we've got to help her. And I put the camera down and I went behind uh, this woman just to sort of distract her. And Jenny told me afterwards, she said, I'm glad you did that because I could feel the chain loosen. And uh, so she was okay, but um, she was, a, I mean, I don't know what would have happened to her if, if I... If and they just came out and assaulted without even... See, to me, that's like, you're specifically hiding, like, you're, you already know you're hiding something. You already know what you're doing is wrong. Yeah. And then you come out and assault someone. Yeah. That's trying to defend, like... Yeah. I mean, she asked us to leave. We were rounding up our people and we were leaving. We were prepared to get arrested. We knew we were trespassing. This is the only way you can expose yes. it. It's private property. Yes. Yes. It's just like, how do we know what they're doing in there to the pigs? Except the people who work there tell us yes. and uh, we get video footage of it. They won't let us in because they know that what they're doing is wrong. Exactly. So that was my experience yeah, wow. this time. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing that. And now, do you know if she's still uh, airing the documentary? Is it still available for people to watch? Is it? Yeah, there's some copyright issues as far as I don't think you can just sort of go online and see the whole thing. I think you can see a portion of it. Okay. Um, but it's excellent. I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah. You'd have to check. See, I, I rented a theater in Hamilton and sold tickets yeah, yeah, as exactly. a fundraiser. I mean, exactly. uh, we paid for the theater yeah. and everything, and yeah. then the money went to uh, to Fern's charity. Yes, yes. Funny thing was, you know, Fern was in school with me. She lived on my street, and uh, I hadn't seen her since graduation day, wow. 1973. And what? 
and she was up in Alaska with PETA and she was looking at people who had signed petitions. They were scrolling by and she caught my name. Wow. And she contacted me. So cool. I know. So after all these years, she contacted me. Oh, wow. I know. It was so great. That's yeah. amazing. Here our paths diverged for all these years, and here we are back. And, and, and From we are in a new spot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Because I've been doing this activism since 1977 when the seal hunt was really first exposed. Yeah. That's when I got involved. Wow. Yeah. Tell me more about that. That's super interesting. I just read an article in the paper and honestly, I couldn't believe my ears. You are hitting baby seals over the head and taking their skins off. I mean, I was just so shocked and I thought, I'll make a sign and I will go down and protest and it'll all stop. Wow. And you know what? It did it. <laughs> that was amazing. Like, I know. <laughs> Yes. There, I'm, I'm sure I've, I've uh, managed because as soon as everybody knows, how could it possibly continue? Yeah, exactly. It's right. horrendous. You that's know. what you would think. I, that's what I thought. In industry that I've ever discovered, that's what I would think. Oh yes. my God, I just need to tell this to people. Yes. And everyone is going to stop. Like, yes. Everyone's going to understand. <laughs> everyone has a heart. Everyone yes. has passion, empathy. Like there's no way this is going to continue. I know. And yet... We're still here today. We're still here today, that's right. And they're still killing seals. And I knew nothing about the food I was eating or any of that. There was no internet, you know. It was, if it wasn't for Peter Singer's book, Animal Liberation, that was that was my only insight as to what was going on. Wow. So I joined a group called, a, a, a fledgling group in Toronto called ARC2. And uh, there was a baboon that was in, had been in a stereotactic device at uh, university uh, in uh, at Western in London uh, and this was the 43rd baboon that had spent a year sitting in a stereotactic device being fed a high cholesterol diet then they killed the baboon and looked at the arteries in the heart. This has been going on for years and the Heart and Stroke Foundation funded the whole thing and uh, there were people in Toronto who did a hunger strike and drew it to our attention, me, the general public. Otherwise, how would we know? And it was a whistleblower who took the, the film footage of this poor creature and just sitting in this, couldn't move they, all that time. It was heart-wrenching. So, I mean, it, once you open that door as to what's going on, it is a, just a world of shock. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, and it is like everywhere. Exploitation and abuse is everywhere. Like, yeah. I'm to the point where now I walk into a normal store, which I rarely do because I spend most of my time in, in vegan places or yeah. vegan yeah. people. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh my god. And I walk into a normal store and I just look around and everything yeah. that I see is yeah. death. I know. Everything that I see is abuse. Yeah. Everything that I see is exploitation. Yeah. And suffering. We've been sold a bill of goods our entire lives. Me, my parents' generation. It's uh, it is shocking, absolutely shocking, the the lack of regard for the feelings of our fellow Earthlings. It is shocking. Yes, it is. So wow. where I come every Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> here. I know. And oh my God, honestly, like since 1973, <laughs> taking action well. to create change in this world. If that's not powerful, like holy I'm trying. Crap, I need I need a high, a high <laughs> point for that. Well, that I don't I don't. Crazy. I don't know if it does any good, but I know it does. I know doing How nothing people, does no good. To, yeah, exactly. Yeah, doing nothing does. It.
with Anita. Compassion is not a crime. We stand with Anita. Compassion is not a crime. We stand with the pigs. Compassion is not a crime. We stand with the pigs. Compassion is not a crime. Get you out of there! Have some compassion! I'm driving by! It's a car accident, damn it! You know. Get it together! Right here! Get it together! <laughs> What's your name? Riga. Riga, a beautiful activist trying to give water to the pigs. This is private property. You can't be running and going into private property and doing that, okay? It's trespassing. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Okay. Fearman's pork right now, giving water to the pigs that are on the trucks. This person over here is unloading the pigs, and his truck's trying to get away from us. What are you doing? Electrocuting them? It's electric prod, though. That. Oh my God! How can you do that? <laughs> Let's go, guys. You ten. I need a ten back and go. I'm getting there. I'm helping. It's not your property. I'm helping you. It's not your property. It's not your life. They're not your property. Let out now. They're not your property. Those animals are not your property. I said, let out. I don't know. 
You know what? Take it out of here. Put it, put it in my, put it in my mouth. Put it in my mouth, and then we'll see that it's just water. Do you know that you're breath trespassing? That's the Absolutely. Absolutely.
So this trucker just won't come in. So he's forcing us to bear witness in a very, very dangerous place. And he's trying to piss off the other cars. Fucking asshole. One of our activists just got killed. Fucking truck hitter. Jesus Christ. No words. Comes an ambulance. Trucker just killed one of us. It finally fucking happened. Knowing that you are 
all in the same room that I'm in does make it somewhat comforting 